So here's what we're going to do. I talk a lot about recording drums, but I want to make certain you guys understand what I do and what that means and why I like it so much. So what I'm going to show you is that when we recorded this drum uh, setup, we recorded this and it shows up as one line. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to boost this up for you uh, so that you can actually see it a little bit differently and in an even different way. Uh, so you can see here, I'm going to close out over here so you got even more room. Let me move this up. And now you can see everything that I was playing. Yeah, it looks like a lot, right? So this is playing everything that I was playing. But it's all just one line. So how do you get that so that you can mix it and make it sound good and turn things up or turn things down? Well, there's one way you can do it, and I'll show you that real quick. You don't want to do this way. Okay, so what you can do is actually this. You can go in and individually hit things and see what you want to change, okay? I do not advise that because that's a lot of notes, okay? And it gets really, really crazy when some of these notes, when it does some really weird stuff that I don't even got time to try to explain to y'all that it does, but trust me, it does some really weird stuff. But here's what you can do. This is another way you can do it. The best thing to do is to separate everything out so that you have everything on a separate channel. And this is how you do that. So first of all, let's close this because we need that out of the way. So we have this open and you want to go over here to where it says drum kit. And you want to click this down arrow here. And you want to go down all the way down to where it says multi sample. And when you get there, you're going to hit the multi output. And when you do that, nothing happens. Well, actually it did. If you go up here and click this button here, which brings up your actual faders for your mixer, and you look down here, this one looks different from the other one. Over there, there's nothing there, but you got plus signs here. A plus and a minus, I should say. So all you do is you click the plus sign, and you'll see that it keeps jumping out until you see like the auxiliary six. That's where we're going to stop. So we're going to go back one, and now we're dealing with the drums. So now what it actually did was took every line of everything that we were playing, and it moved it to its own line. The reason you want to do this is because now you can EQ things separately, and you can also you can bring things up, bring things down. You can change it. Whatever you want to do, you can actually do that. So now when we play, the toms, you'll see the toms are lighting up because I'm hitting toms. And... More things are going to start to happen. More things are lighting up because it's separated everything out. And now you can EQ, mix, whatever you want to do, all spread out in your song. Really neat little feature. So I like, this is another reason why, I mean, you can do the very same thing. You can do the very same thing with acoustic drums, but there are some things that you cannot do uh, necessarily that I can actually pull off by doing this this way. So let me show you something else I can do. So let's say I go in here and I'm going to pull this back up so I got all of these crazy notes, right? Well, each one of these notes here re refers to a place on the keyboard. So there's something that happens on the keyboard right there. It's how they, how they talk, so how it understands. So let's say this rim shot here, and I'm just going to pick this by way of picking it. Let's say I didn't want that there. But let's say I really made a mistake and played that, and I actually wanted to play a low tom. I can grab it and slide it up, and now, instead of being a rim shot, it's a tom. And then I can undo, and it'll go right back down. That's some of the things you can actually do when you have an electric set, which is another reason why I wanted it. If I wanted to adjust things, I could. I could actually shift all of this stuff. Watch this. I'm going to go all... I'm going to select everything. I'm going to go, it's already there, and I'm going to make certain that it's quantized the eighth note, and you saw everything move. Now, that's actually going to change the rhythm a little bit. So let's go down. See, it, it changed the rhythm and made it sound really weird, but now I'm going to put it back. Now you can actually hear what I was playing. So... 
The electric drums gives you the ability to do some things that you would not normally be able to do with an acoustic set and make some changes that you wouldn't necessarily be able to make. Now you can trigger some things. There are some ways of doing it. Don't get me wrong. But the electric set just kind of gives you, in my opinion, a quick, easy way of doing it. Um, but again, there are there's the downside of the size and the feel. There there's upside of being of the ability to do it. There's so many ups and so many downs that I can't find. I, I wouldn't dare say that it's useless or don't buy it or anything like that. I think it is worth it. Depending on your studio setup, I think it would be worth it. So I guess the next thing you need to see is what it sounds like in an actual song. So let's check it out. That is all the electric drums. So that gives you the ability to get this really good sound and blend it in and I can mix it in really, really easy because it's all digital. Uh, so it made it really, really simple. So I do like that about the Simmons drums that it gives me the ability to mix some things in and create the sounds that I want without fighting uh, um, uh, acoustic, the things that you would normally fight from acoustic drums, I don't have to deal with. So now right here is getting ready to kick in. You hear the snare come in and it's all drums. It's all electric from here. All of that is electric drum all the way throughout from there to the end of the song. You have nothing but electric drums. And I like it because it just gives me the ability to, to blend things around. Check this out, man. We're getting very, very close to our 100th YouTube video. So I'm gonna do a special show for our 100th uh, YouTube video. I'm gonna do a special show. So I can't wait to do that show. So anyway, man, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.